Go in the water. Live there. Die there. Good morning, friends. Oh, oh, dog's barking. Thank you, thank you. I mean, the the fucking intro, you know? Just trying to do a thing. <laughs> My name's Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. I've got a lighter and a Molotov cocktail. I'm gonna do something with that today. First, I need to get a little drinky drink. I had uh, quite a sleep last night because those sleeping pills, who doggy? They uh, they did a number on me. I'll say that much. I slept for, um, 14 hours? Something like that? What the fuck? <laughs> Went to sleep at 5.30, woke up at 7. So yeah, that's, uh, quite an amount of sleep. It's raining outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for that. Um, yeah. It, it, it rains quite a little bit over here. I hope that it's not too noticeable. But, uh, it probably will be just a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully it's just soothing. It's soothing for your soul, and your mind, and your body, and other parts of your, your being that I might not uh, consider at this juncture, at this very moment. Um, hoping to find that fucking house again. There's a house that I burnt down already. Huzzah! What a, what a nice place it was. And now it's done forever. Let me take care of this lady right here. Done. One and done. Alright, I guess there's nothing uh, in this house, really, that I need to worry about. I mean, there was a zombie, but I don't need to worry about that. I got a baseball bat. Uh, I would go get, like, uh, some sink actions. Oh, here's the house. Here's the house. I got a little impatient last time, I guess. We need to, uh... Peel some some boards off or something like that. Open the door. Get these zombies taken care of. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do right now. There's a one and a two, and they're all at this fucking door. That's fine. Hey everybody! Oh god! Fuck! How did you get out of the house? Wow. This hammer packs a punch, doesn't it? Doesn't it pack a punch? Hell yeah, boy! I'm going to, uh... I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Get my Molotov, get my lighter. And, uh, I guess just open the door and run backwards. Because there's only gonna be one way out. One way in, one way out. There's three of them. Okay. Open. Open. Open! There we go. You guys feeling good? You, you doing alright? You're doing alright. I'm gonna run them down just a little bit so I uh, have enough time to get over there, pitch the Molotov, and run back out. And hopefully not all the zombies are gonna end up running into the street. But you never can tell, can you? God. Okay, I guess that'll work. That'll do just fine. I'll live with it. Um, oh, I automatically equipped my my baseball bat again, so that's nice. Bam! Bam! Everybody down! Oh, my exertion's back up. God damn it. That's not good. That's quite bad. Well, hopefully that fire's gonna make it into the house. I didn't quite, uh, pitch it far enough. Oh, man. What a- what an adventure we're having today! Early in the morning! <laughs> okay, we good? Are we- are we fucking square? I guess we're good. My god. Freaked me out just a little bit. But it turned out okay. Now we just get to enjoy a, a nice hot fire. Huzzah! I'm gonna put all my bills in the doctor bag. Because the doctor pays a lot of bills or something like that. Can't see in there because that's barricaded. Or just one that's a little less barricaded. 
Hey guys, you having a good time in there? I think they are. I hope that lady uh, spreads the fire around just a little bit. She did. There's another one. They burning! They burning! Look at them go! Oh, this is so nice. Nice little bonfire. And then hopefully he lights his friend on fire. Is that what's gonna happen? Oh no, don't come over here. I don't want to be on fire. Should probably back away from this window just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that fire's gonna eat right through the wall. Yep, fire's coming outside now. Alright, I'm going over here. You guys have fun. Have fun doing that thing. Oh shit! Flaming zombie! I told you he was gonna come out of that wall. <laughs> As soon as it burned down, he was like, FREEDOM! DELICIOUS FREEDOM! I don't need these fish, they're going a little bad, so I'm gonna eat the ones that I have that are still good. And I need to get some water, too. It's not good to play with fire when you're thirsty. I go in there, get a drink of water, but then I burn myself alive. Is that ironic? I think that's irony. Now that zombie's dead. Dead as shit. Cool. Hell yeah. That's how we do the thing. Oh, the rain's coming and going. I can't be asked uh, to stop every time it starts because it doesn't even last for that long. So uh, I hope you'll bear with me on that. Oh my. It is burning. It is burning! For some reason I am surprised by that. This house uh, lit up a lot quicker than I thought it would. Zombies are what helps the, the fire to spread so quickly. The fire doesn't generally go that far if there are no zombies to uh, to walk around and spread it. Hopefully there's going to be something salvageable in here still. But I find that kind of doubtful. <laughs> uh, oh well. This is my favorite way to clear houses out. We've got enough shit anyways to uh, eat for days and days, so we, we should be cool. We should be alright. At least that's what I think. That's what I think you think. Hey buddy, is that fridge gonna light on fire? I bet it is. I bet all the food's gonna go bye bye. That's kinda sad. Maybe it won't, who knows. I think the fridge did light on fire in the other houses though, so uh, it's safe to assume that will be the case here. But I'm kind of crossing my fingers that it doesn't. Oh look, the fire's getting bigger. Oh god. Oh god, it's gonna consume everything. This house is uh, done for. Done and done. Hey, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, fridge is on fire now. Oh well. I was hoping for some free foodies, but it ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna just have like a bunch of fucking burnt out houses in this neighborhood. That would be kind of silly, wouldn't it? Everything around here just burnt. I burnt all the houses. Oh Jesus. There was an explosion of some kind in there. And my character uh, got a little scared by that. I got a little scared by that too. My goodness. What was it? I don't understand. Alright, let's have a drink. A little drink. All this fire is making me thirsty. I get so thirsty. Heck yeah. Hmm. Is it going to burn out at some point? Then I can go uh, scavenge what's inside the house. Oh, oh, oh. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. God damn it, piss. Oh, I hurt myself. Burned my uh, right thigh. Fuck, minor injuries. I need some first aid. Burned. Gotta bandage it. Oh, I'm looking pretty shit. Pretty shitty. I just wanted to have a little peek. Is that so wrong? I ain't gonna do it again. Fuck that. Wow, this, uh, this place is messed up. This place is done for. I don't think there's gonna be anything left. There's a rat. A dead rat. That's all that survived. Oh god. 
Please stay over there. Don't light my baseball bat on fire. Oh, man. Did I drop off all my painkillers? I think I did. Fuck. What a horrible choice. At least I still got my bandages. But yeah, I'm gonna go ne need to get those uh, painkillers right quick. Because I'm not gonna be able to do shit. Sorry about all the background noise. I know there's uh, shows going on. There's dogs barking. You can let me know if uh, it makes the episode unwatchable. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be, like, too much going on, regardless. I'm just doing what I can do, you know what I mean? That's how it goes sometimes. You just gotta roll with the punches, something like that. Ah, God. Fart and shit and poop as well. Speed and accuracy reduced because of my severe pain. My pain is quite severe. At least this burn wound, like, uh, cauterized itself immediately, right? Is that, is that a thing that happens? I'm not bleeding from the burn. There's just water collecting under the skin because, uh, all the water that was in my flesh boiled under my skin. And now it's trying to escape. Alright, where's those painkillers? Come on, I didn't, I didn't take that long of a break, goddammit. Here they are. I remember, don't worry, everything is fine. I'm gonna need more. Still in uh, quite a bit of pain. It's going down. Exertion, oh my god. It was more trouble than it was worth, I'll tell you what. But I just, I just have so much fun with fire. I can't help myself, damn it. This baseball bat's about to eat shit, so I will equip the other one. Is my character limping? No. They probably should add that animation, though. That would be pretty cool. And this is in shit condition, so goodbye. Goodbye, baseball bat. I will miss you. You've served us well. I don't think this was the way back to that house. I, think I gotta go, like, kinda straight. Straight down here, right? I can't recall. Once I see one burned out house, I'll be like, oh, the other one is across the street. I could burn this whole neighborhood down. Nobody would stop me. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. And they'd all say, Dayton, you're a madman. What about all the goods that were in the house? And I'm like, whatever. I don't care. Shit happens. Life's rough. What do you want? Get a helmet. Jesus. Jesus, please us. I'm already, um, getting more severe pain. I don't know how I can empty these painkillers out into the other one. Is that gonna waste some of them? I guess not. I didn't really do the math. <laughs> how much of each is, uh, is in... Yeah. I filled how many into, a uh, 79%? Well, it's a good thing I burned down that house when I found it, because, uh, I got immediately lost again. <laughs> Isn't that just the way? Isn't that the way it always goes? Damn. I hear a TV on somewhere. In one of these houses. It's just, uh, a test of the emergency broadcast system. I don't think it's this house, though. The zombies don't seem, uh, too attracted to it, either. I think it would be good if they, uh, heard the radio or TV and headed on over. But it doesn't seem like it makes much of a difference. These zombies are dumb. They put some, uh, some new sliders in the game. If you start up a new server, you can change, like, the zombies' speed, strength, and cognition. But right now, the zombies that I have are, uh, are a bunch of failures. <laughs> they have no cognition whatsoever. They just, uh, see you walk away, and they're like, I guess he's gone. I guess he's gone. Let's give up. Alright, there's the TV that's on. Or maybe a different one. I don't know. That's a mystery to me. Let's go ahead and turn it off, though. Done. Fucking piercing. Piercing through my brain. Damn. 
What's this shit doing in the kitchen? What are you doing in here? You just standing around? I don't understand. I don't understand it at all. Ooh, another box of MREs. Always love to find that. Hell yeah. Dead rat. Honey. This bottle of honey looks different from the other bottle of honey that I found. One was shaped like a beehive, and this one is shaped like a... A funny little... Little bear or something. No, I think it's shaped like a beehive too. But it does look different from the other honey. I don't know. Just like the chips in this game all have uh, different skins and shit like that. I think that's pretty cool. Don't you? Don't you think that's pretty cool? I could disassemble this piano if I had a saw. But what would be the point? Is what I ask myself. Do you really want to disassemble that piano? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, because it makes beautiful music and nothing in this world is beautiful anymore. End it. We're all gonna die to zombies, eventually. I mean, maybe I won't. I don't know. Time will tell. I ate all of my fishes. They were so delicious! Hmm, and I seem to need some more painkillers. That's fine. I got some of them. This burn really hurts, bro. I don't know how long it's gonna be before I can, uh... I can walk properly again. Well, this forearm bandage seems to have, uh, healed, so... We healed our scratch in one day, but that burn might take a little bit longer. I don't know. I don't really know how it works. You want me to be completely honest? Oh, here's the base that I had before. The very first base that I lost in episode one. <laughs> oh boy. It's funny. Little dog food. Jar of cherry jam. Oh, dude. Are you kidding? It increased thirst a little bit, but it's fucking delicious. Bro. I don't have anything to fix that baseball bat. That's old, old rusty. You know, it was a good one. It was a good one. Look at this, how to use generators and a generator sitting in the same garage. Those two things together means that uh, I wasted my job. My job is just a fucking waste. It doesn't mean anything. That's so terrible. I'm sure I've been through this burned out house before. But I just like having a look through the burnt out houses. It makes me feel cool. Like I'm a... A pioneer of, of some sort. Hmm, there's some fresh yogurt. I'll have some of that. Mmm, yogurt. You can put yogurt on your burn there, and it'll help it feel heal faster because of the, the probiotics and the cultures. That's right. Oh my god, there's so many burnt out houses. I don't remember this one being burnt out. Wow. Maybe just thinking about burning down the houses, I, I burnt down some houses with my mind. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I didn't know I could do that. That's nice. Fishing rod, hammer, some nails. Where do I store these? Right there. Right there, no problem. Climb through, close window. I find it quite unfortunate that I keep, uh trying to open doors and end up climbing through a fucking window. Cutting myself on the damned windows. There's a rotten fish fillet. But it's also cooked. Rotten and cooked. That ain't right. You know that ain't right. Hmm, we should barbecue. I see a lot of barbecues out here. Maybe I pick one up. Maybe I'll put it near my, uh, my little place. I do have a campfire out there. Feels more rugged if I'm cooking on a campfire. Oh, man. I really wanted to, uh, go on a little adventure today. But I don't exactly know where I'm headed. Like, west of West Point? I think it's just gonna have me ending up at the, uh, lumber mill and shit that we were at before. I need to wait for the, the map to be updated before I can really, uh, really head out. I could go to the mall. That might be nice. Hmm, everybody likes the mall. I mean, 
teenagers. <laughs> I'm not that. Turn this fucking TV off. Nobody wants to watch this, okay? Sit there and watch the static channel. Wow, it's snowing. It's snowing a lot on this channel. Frosty the snowman. Dude. Hey, dude. Isn't that so fun? Hmm. Well, I'm still uh, feeling a little hurty. Definitely, I don't want my accuracy to be reduced, especially if I'm going to the mall, because we're going to have to take on a lot more zombies than uh, just the couple that we have been. The mall will get you swamped. You got like four zombies chasing at one time. I mean, I've gotten to the point where I'm a little better at handling it, not freaking out and the like. That's important. You just got to keep your, your head on the swivel. You got to keep your wits about you. You gotta keep your balls about you, too. That's right. That's my handy hints for life. You're welcome. You're welcome. Take some glue and duct tape. Whatever. There's so many dead bodies. Have I searched through all of these? I couldn't have. Hmm. Flashlight, lipstick. They are kind of prepared. Halfway prepared. Credit card. What the fuck? I guess you'd keep a credit card just because uh, it would remind you of like some sense of civilization, you know? <gasps> or maybe you could use it to like jimmy some locks too, I don't know. You wouldn't need to worry about it too much. You're just like, oh, I destroyed my credit card. That's fine. It doesn't mean anything. I'll just throw it on the ground now. You can still read the number, but that's fine. We don't buy anything on credit anymore anyways. Now we buy things with... Pumpkins and fish. Beads. Whatever. I don't know, something like that. A barter system. Seems like a pretty good system. I don't know. I think I ate, all I ate today was some fish and some pain pills. Like, a lot of pain pills. <laughs> eh, that's probably not good. I'm gonna do a little more foraging. How about, how about foraging? Can I do it? Let me do it. Not here. We're too close to the path, you see. Or maybe I'm uh, in too much pain. You're not going to be able to, to catch a, a rat or whatever if you can't even walk properly. Dang. I don't know why it lets me forge sometimes and not other times. But I guess that's just part of the mystery of Project Zomboid. The wiki doesn't have all the answers. I tried to look up what the fuck nitric acid is for on the wiki, and it's like, uh-huh. No results. What the fuck? If I find some glycerin, maybe I combine it with the nitric acid, make some nitroglycerin. Then I can make a bomb. But I don't think I've seen any glycerin in this game. Knock this bitch in the water. Go in the water. Live there. Die there. Dang. There are just all kinds of zombies in these woods. These ain't your woods. These are my fucking woods. I live here. <clears throat> I mean, you can stay if you promise not to bite me. But I don't fucking believe you when you promise not to bite me. So you can't stay. That's pretty simple, huh? That's pretty simple. Here's a, a map of Moldra. I think that's where we are staying now. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Interesting. So it's like all kind of set differently, you know? You got the isometric view, and then this map is set like uh, north is north, south is south. Or maybe the top of this map is north. I'm really not sure. Maybe we're not staying in Moldra. I do know there's a church there, but it doesn't uh, have like the restaurant labeled or anything like that either, so... A little hard to tell. Restaurants and entertainment. There's the police station. Mmm... I don't... I don't... I don't see a restaurant. Maybe there's multiple pieces to this map that I gotta put together. I ain't too sure. I don't really give a damn to figure it out. I was hoping it would just have, like, a loot stash on it. 
and then I could try and go find that shit. But, not that lucky. Not today. Ooh, look at this. I found a rifle. A Springfield rifle. Hmm, I think I've gone too far. Um, down this river. Maybe? This is definitely a part I haven't been to. There's no dead bodies over here. Just a bunch of zombies and shit. And I'm way too tired and in pain to really battle them. I should just go back to the road. If I can even find the road. Follow the yellow brick road! Follow the yellow brick road! Yeah, there's so many fucking zombies out here in the woods. How is this happening? Somebody ran into the woods thinking they would be safe? Ended up becoming a zombie? I'm sure not that many people went into the woods. What the fuck? I could, uh, I could just be lost. See, that's the worst part about Project Zomboid, is you just... You wander away, get in a place that doesn't look familiar, and you're like, Oh, fuck. It's all over now. It's all over. Hey, there's the Spiffos I was looking for earlier. And all of a sudden, I know where we are. Thank you, fast food establishment. Wonderfully done. How the fuck... How burglar alarm? Is this a different Spiffos? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go in the kitchen and there's gonna be, um... No food left. If I can even figure out how to get in the fucking kitchen. There we go. I think I ate everything in here. Yeah. There's a little bit of vinegar. Oh, they're fucking breaking in through the front. I'll see you later. This place is a lost cause now. Shit. Oh, the Spiffos is right near the laundromat. I should have known that. I should have recalled. It's just been uh, a long time since we've been there. Mmm. And those woods over there? That's, that's not a good place to go. There's a bunch of zombies in them woods. And I guess I could take care of them. Get my blunt accuracy up. Oh god, my my bandage is looking a little bit dirty. Burned. At least it's not infected. I'll put some disinfectant anyways, just just to be safe. Yeah, makes my health go down pretty fast. Pretty dang fast. I'm gonna need to take some sleeping pills. At least I can take these painkillers while I'm running. But if you take too many painkillers, you won't be able to run. I think I took fucking, like, ten of these pills today. The doctor would be like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want to die? Sometimes. That's just how it is living these days. I wake up, I say, what's the point? What's even the point, doc? I don't understand. I'm gonna take some of these sleeping pills. Where are they at? Mm-hmm. That's good. That's delicious. You want me to be completely honest? Mmm. I need some more. <laughs> and then Dayton woke up and he was dead. How can you wake up if you're dead? Don't ask those questions. Oh my god. That took effect really, really fast. My goodness. Little extra adhesive bandages. Hmm. Got a good amount of food. I'm sure I got a shelf where I could stick that. I'm gonna need to build more shelves. My god. My god! I fill up both of these shelves already. How did this happen? This base is just gonna be so filled with junk. At least the the restaurant base is kind of like halfway, you know, where things are. But this base is just like, ah, I got some stuff, pile it in here. It's probably not the, uh, the ideal way that I want to do things. But oh well. It's the way that it went. And that's the way it was. I'm Walter Cronkite. Mm, I'm not Walter Cronkite. Let's see. 
I thought I had some water. I don't want to drink the poison water. And eh, whatever. I get it in the morning. Anyways, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Fucking ambulance. Ugh. <laughs> I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always appreciated. Helps the channel to get out there. Next, we're looking at like 2,000 subs. You know what I mean? Maybe uh, 1,500 first would be a good start, but I just want to I want to keep it going. That's, that's all I'm saying to you. So tell your friends, tell your mom, whatever. Uh, drop the first episode of uh, Project Zomboid into an email and send it to them, because I'm sure people still use email. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks again for watching. This has been Project Zomboid with Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. And I'll see you in the next one, next one friends. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.